Elon Musk confirmed a sixth new gigafactory at Tesla's Investor Day event to be built in Nuevo Leon, Mexico, just a seven-hour drive from Tesla's Giga Texas factory. However, the new plant may be gargantuan, up to twice the size of its Texas counterpart. But what makes this facility so significant is its strategic location, which provides access to government support, a skilled workforce, and a gateway to key markets. Giga Mexico will begin by producing an entirely new vehicle, built on Tesla's upgraded next-generation platform, the first of any Tesla facility to be working on this new technology. The new Mexico Gigafactory is set to become a pivotal player in Tesla's expansion strategy, facilitating a significant increase in the production of electric vehicles to meet the surging global demand. With sustainability and energy efficiency at the forefront of Tesla's mission, the Mexico facility could potentially emerge as one of the most critical factories in the world. And before we continue, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and have a look at our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and a brand new set of financial data going back 15 years, and it's all freely available. Mexican President Andre Manuel Lopez Obrador made a groundbreaking announcement on February 28, 2023, one day before Tesla's Investor Day, officially stating that a new Tesla Gigafactory would be built in Mexico, with Elon Musk confirming the location one day later at Tesla's event. The facility would initially encompass a staggering $5 billion investment from Tesla, set to bring in 6,000 workers, with 20,000 indirect jobs including thousands of workers needed for the construction process alone. The factory would eventually scale to be a roughly $10 billion investment by Tesla and would employ 10,000 workers when fully constructed. This new Gigafactory is expected to be one of the largest projects in automotive history, a game changer for Tesla as they continue their mission to transition the world to sustainable energy. Giga Mexico is poised to produce a high volume of Tesla's next generation EVs, making sustainable products at a price point accessible to everyone. In October 2022, Elon Musk conducted a helicopter flyover of the site, and several months later, the deal was finalized for Tesla to build its new Gigafactory in Santa Catarina, near the city of Monterey, in the state of Nuevo Leon. The plot of land was originally intended to be developed by Six Flags into an amusement park, but according to the website InfoBay, due to licensing issues, the land sat vacant for over five years before it was instead sold to Tesla. The massive parcel of land in Mexico, where Tesla plans to build its next generation factory, spans nearly 4,200 acres. To put this into perspective, Tesla's massive Giga Texas factory is built on a lot that's 40% smaller at 2,500 acres. It's also reported that Tesla is targeting a million units per year in production volume of its new low-cost vehicle from this new facility. The city of Monterey is a major hub for manufacturing and a commercial center in northern Mexico. While the city hosts over a thousand manufacturing companies it includes vehicle companies such as Mercedes, Kia, Boeing, John Deere, and General Motors, who operate manufacturing plants in and around Monterey and the wider state of Nuevo Leon. Not to mention that almost every major automaker has invested in assembly plants in the greater Mexico area, all providing a talent pool with skilled workers, ideal for Tesla's own manufacturing plants. This has been one of Tesla's key strategies when selecting a new Gigafactory location, which is to make sure it's situated in an area with a large number of skilled workers that it can tap into and train for building electric vehicles and other products. It's also important for filling the over 10,000 positions that the Mexico Gigafactory will eventually house. These jobs also come at a lower cost to foreign investors such as US-based Tesla, as salaries are much lower than in the United States. They're actually comparable, if not cheaper on average, to China, making Mexico extremely compelling for investment and competitive on the global playing field. This is exactly what Tesla needs, 
coupled with its next-generation vehicle design as it's looking to drastically cut costs by up to 50% of the cost to build a Model 3 in order to build a $25,000 electric vehicle and infiltrate the largest segment of the automotive market. Automobiles are already a prime export for Mexico, and almost all of Tesla's major competitors are already taking advantage of what the local industry has to offer. One advantage for Tesla on its journey of entering a new country and opening a new Mexico factory is that it's just under a 7-hour drive from Giga Texas, allowing Tesla to leverage its existing factory in order to help ramp up Giga Mexico. They can borrow labor or components that are needed while the new manufacturing plant builds out its own supply chain with local manufacturers, many of which are already present in the area. This also minimizes the risk and large set of challenges to be had while scaling up a new factory in another country. Local governments are also keen to support investment in the area, with incentives related to subsidized land, training programs, and lower payroll tax rates depending on the amount of new employment created or the level of investment planned, for which Tesla will likely qualify due to its massive investment, although the details are not known yet. However, Mexico will act as a gateway for doing business not just in the country itself, but being able to export vehicles to a wide range of other markets. Mexico has a total of 15 free trade agreements, including the North American Free Trade Agreement, or NAFTA, with the United States and Canada, the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, CPTPP, and agreements with the European Union, Japan, and many Latin American countries. These agreements have helped Mexico to become one of the world's leading exporters of manufactured goods and a preferred destination for foreign investment, and could allow Tesla to bypass tariffs when exporting to some 50 countries that Mexico has free trade agreements with. According to data from the Center for Automotive Research, it was estimated based on assembly, parts, transportation, and tariffs that for a $25,000 car sold in the U.S., which is what Tesla is currently aiming for, it was $1,200 cheaper to produce the vehicle in Mexico versus in the U.S. itself. But even more lucrative, given Mexico's numerous free trade agreements, it was $4,300 cheaper to build a vehicle in Mexico versus the U.S. in 2017 and have it shipped to Europe, with much of the savings coming from reduced tariffs, not just the lower cost of manufacturing. The location of Giga Mexico also provides numerous advantages in terms of leveraging the city's local infrastructure. Monterey's port, located in Nuevo León in northeastern Mexico, can facilitate the transportation of raw materials and finished products to and from the new factory. The port is also conveniently connected to Mexico's major highways, including the Mexico-USA-Canada Highway, which can help Tesla transport its products to different parts of Mexico and other countries in North America. Mexico's Secretary of Foreign Affairs, Martha Delgado Peralta, recently said that we would be encouraging an ecosystem of electric vehicles and raising our levels of exports to the United States by 3.5% annually, equivalent to the sum of $15 billion, representing a 10% increase in auto-related exports. And this shows the government's eagerness towards boosting exports. Monterey's port is also one of Mexico's busiest ports, which provides competition among shipping companies, resulting in lower shipping costs for Tesla, allowing it to save money on transportation expenses. The modern infrastructure and logistics capabilities of the port include container terminals, warehouses, and customs facilities, can also help streamline Tesla's supply chain and reduce delivery times. But Monterey's port provides Tesla with a valuable transportation hub, enabling the company to conduct business more efficiently and cost-effectively in Mexico. In addition, the country is eligible to take advantage of the IRA tax credits of up to $7,500 based on the vehicle and battery components that are used to build the new electric cars. Now, according to Reuters, Tesla's construction of the new Gigafactory in Mexico is set to begin in the summer of 2023. Tesla's vice president for Greater China, Tom Zhu, has stated that they plan to build this factory faster than any other. This would mark an impressive milestone for the company, 
since the China factory was built in about 10 months and currently produces more vehicles than all of Tesla's other operations combined. It appears that Tom Zhu will be leading the effort in Mexico as he did in China, and he intends to complete the first phase of the factory within just nine months' time, outpacing its China counterpart and beginning to deliver new vehicles as soon as possible. The new factory will also serve as a proof of concept that a gigafactory can not only be built faster than the one in China, which remains a record for the company, but one that can be built in just a few months' time, which will enable Tesla to accelerate its gigafactory and electric vehicle presence worldwide. Tesla is planning to reach 20 million vehicles per year in production volume by 2030. And so this becomes more realistic if Tesla can get closer to building out 10 to 12 factories, each producing 1.5 to 2 million cars, as Elon Musk has spoken about when Giga Texas first opened for business. While Tesla still has 8 more years to grow its current roughly 2 million vehicle run rate by a factor of 10 times, the company now has 5 vehicle producing locations, including Giga Mexico, in the works. And this has taken about 6 years to accomplish, with some of the factories taking 2-3 to three years to begin outputting medium volumes of cars. Over the upcoming 8 years, Tesla is extremely well positioned to replicate and exceed its current footprint given that it can build larger, more efficient factories in a fraction of the time, allowing the company to move faster than anyone who was focusing on Tesla's historical metrics believes. Now the technology being used at the Mexico Gigafactory is the first of its kind, as Tesla has plans to revolutionize the internals of the vehicle with a 48 volt architecture and 100% in-house design controllers, while also reimagining the process with which cars are built, using a five-section parallel assembly method, along with other technology paradigms that Tesla revealed at its Investor Day event. As with all new technology, the factory will be important for serving as a testbed for ironing out issues, especially before they make their way to other Tesla factories. But the goal with Tesla's new designs and processes is to reduce factory footprint and cost and ultimately make it faster and easier to build affordable electric cars for mainstream markets globally. And so if Tesla is successful in Mexico, it will greatly accelerate the company's mission towards a sustainable future for everyone. So do you think Tesla will be able to start producing cars in record time and beat out the construction speed of the China Gigafactory? And do you think Tesla made the right choice by selecting and building its upcoming Gigafactory in Mexico? Don't forget to watch my video on Tesla's new lower cost vehicle. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that helped us support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.